Welcome back, dear students. Today we are going to move ahead with the chapter amplifiers of class 11. Uh, in the last class, uh, we had seen what is coupling or what is cascading, right? Um, joining multiple stages together, multiple stages of CE amplifier, common emitter amplifier together. It is known as multi-stage amplifiers. How are they joined? Are they joined directly or using some component based on that? There are different types of coupling um, and the methods, right? We had seen what is coupling. We had seen what is cascading. Today, we are going to see the first type of it, which is known as the RC coupling, okay? So here we are. This is the circuit diagram for RC coupled amplifier, okay? Now let us see the meaning of each word. R means resistance, C means capacitor. So there is a capacitor and a resistance combination. Basically this combination, which is joining the two stages. Yaha tak stage one hai. Pehla stage amplifier ka, ye aapne dekha hoga, voltage divider bias. Common emitter amplifier ka video ek baar dekh loge, to aapko samaj mein aajaga. This is the single stage. This is a, this is one stage. Okay, this is a single C amplifier. This is the same replica, same, it's looking like the same stage. So this is stage number two. Where is the input of the stage one, uh, of the first stage? This is the input of stage one. And at the collector, this is the output of stage one. Output of stage one is connected through the capacitor CC and RL to the base of the second stage. That is, this is the input. So output is connected to the input and we get the final output at this collector. Hence it is coupled and hence it is and it is coupled through resistance and capacitor. Hence it is RC coupled amplifier. Okay, I hope um, the stages are clear. This is stage one, this is stage two. Both of them are connected to th through this region. Now let us see the construction. As you can see the construction, the uh, two stage amplifier uh, has two transistors connected in C configuration, that is common emitter. If you can see the emitter is connected to input also, emitter is connected to output also, same over here, input it, emitter is connected to input also, emitter is connected to output also. So it is C configuration. A common power supply VCC is used, okay? And potential divider R1, R2. In, on, in both the stages, a potential divider is used, voltage divider bias is used. Okay, and the resistance RE from the biasing and stabilization network. Now, uh, this uh, the uh, importance of CE, okay, is already told. Okay, it bypasses any DC, unwanted DC signals, it bypasses through this particular, uh, 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 through this area. Okay, hence it is on the, the stabilization network. So it is known as the bypass capacitor, which offers very low reactance path to the signal. But if any DC, unwanted DC signal is, is there, it will bypass that. Otherwise, we get negative feedback. Mil jata hai. That is why we bypass it the ground. Mein dal deta hai. Ye is CE. If it is not CE, it will gain effect. Hota hai. Fine. So CE, um, I am not going into the extreme detail of every uh, component because extreme detail of every component is told in single stage amplifier. Okay, but then also I am taking, I am telling the use of every component. I am not skipping any component. Okay, so um, that was uh, the bypass capacitor, CE and C, the, both the Cs that are, the, they are known as the bypass capacitors. They bypass any unwanted uh, DC signals and RL is used as the load impedance. Okay, this, this is the, the of the first stage. And um, there is CE, uh, input capacitance at the uh, present at the in initial stage, it couples the AC signal to the base of the transistor, fine? And the coupling capacitor, the main hero of our, um, uh, what you can say, amplifier, the main hero of our amplifier is the capacitor CC, okay? And it connects two stages and it also prevents DC interference between the stages. How to remember it, right? If it, the DC, this DC signal is a straight line, capacitor blocks it. So try to remember that, that way only. So if any sort of DC, DC signal is interfering between the two stages, the CC, that is coupling capacitor, will take care of that. Okay. I hope the same explanation goes for the second stage also. Same voltage divider, um, load impedance, CE, coupling, everything is the same. Okay. Now let us go to the 
working of uh, this RC coupled amplifier. Fine. Now, uh, in this uh, RC coupled uh, amplifier, when an AC input signal is applied, okay, to the base of it's it's as simple as that. AC input is applied to the uh, input of the first stage. It gets amplified and it uh, appears at the collector. Okay, it appears the amplified signal appears at the collector uh, load RL, which is then passed through the coupling capacitor CC to the next stage. Okay, so that means here the first amplification is done. It is passed to the next stage to the base. That means this now becomes the input to the second stage. Here the same thing amplification will happen and the output is say, uh, the second amplified output is seen at the collector again. Fine. So um, that is um, how the uh, coupled amplifier is. Um, the amplification takes place in two stages. Now, if we consider it in the form of a waveform, this is the input. At the output over here, after the first stage, you will get a phase reversal. I have already explained this single stage uh, CE amplifier mein output phase 180 degree reverse reversal mein hota hai. Thik hai? Ye input ban jata hai second phase ke liye. Yahan pe again wohi same CE amplifier hai. Again isko ulta kar deta hai. Uska ulta kya ho jayega? Uska ulta aise ho jayega. To ultimately in the input the signal will be amplified no doubt but it will not be in any phase reversal format. It will be in, in phase with the input. Okay. Now, frequency response of this particular CERC amplifier, I had already done uh, in one of my previous videos. I will be just repeating it once again. This is the frequency re uh, response curve. It, okay. So, this can be divided into three parts. As a Q, why are we dividing it into three parts? Either come Q, either come Q, either it's constant Q. A very important factor you consider karna hai. wherever you are using capacitors, reactance comes into picture what is reactance it is just like um, resistance okay but uh, it is of the capacitor Isli usko capacitance bolte. Yeah, no, sorry uh, reactance bolte. okay what is resistance means if you're running if the if, if the current is uh, running and somebody is pulling that current from behind its effect reduces right so just remember it that way so as the frequency increases the reactance is going to decrease Okay, so that means at very, very low frequencies, as frequency is low, what is high? Reactance is high, Matlab resistance is high. So current ko, current ko aage jane dega kya nahi, jane nahi dega. That is why the gain is less over here. So this is divided into three regions, low frequency region, mid frequency region and high frequency region. Okay, um, so the, these are the cutoff frequencies. FL, FU, okay. कैसे uh, cutout frequency है? जो to, जो uh, uh, the frequency mid frequency range है, AM that is mid frequency gain, उसको divide by root two करेंगे. जहाँ जहाँ cut होता है graph paper पे, that is FL and FU. Uh, FL means lower frequency, FU means higher frequency. This is not there in your syllabus. This graph paper thing is not there in your syllabus. So you just can remember. What frequency, just roughly remember what the frequency response of RC coupled amplifier is. Okay, so this is generally plotted on a semi log graph paper uh, on logarithmic scale. Okay, mid frequency range in this range, maximum and uniform gain is obtained. Okay, as you can see, uniform gain. Low frequency, I told you why it is low, XC is equal to 1 upon 2 pi FCQ. And over here, high frequency region also, current gain beta depends on frequency. If frequency increases, beta gets affected. That is why the gain reduces over here also. Okay. So um, that was about RC coupled amplifier. Let us say one more type. That is a direct coupled amplifier. Okay. In your syllabus, transformer coupled, LC coupled is deleted. Okay. So this is the last type of coupling amplifier, direct coupled amplifier. Now, what happens in this? Dekho, this is very interesting. Uh, RC coupled mein kya tha? L and C. I mean, sorry, R and C. Sorry, R and C. They are they were the um, you know uh, what you can say uh, chain makers or hath pakrate na ek dusre ko do bande agar agar hai to if you want to agar train ke do bogies hai if you want to join it 
there has to be something which needs to join the two bogies. R and C were these two components which joined this section and this section. Ab next stage mein dekho. If, uh, if, if you know, this is one transistor, that is, I hope you have, have identified it. This is a second transistor. How is it joined? Ek, ek, uh, uh, section se, dusre section mein, wo kaise join hua hai? Is there any component in between? No, there is absolutely no component in between. Hence, it is known as direct coupled amplifier. Okay. Please, um, there are many kids during the exam when uh, DC amplifier is asked. It is not direct current amplifier. Okay. It, it amplifies both DC and AC signals. It is direct coupled amplifier. That is why it is known as DC amplifier. Please full form DC current ka or DC amplifier ka. Please uh, have a difference between the, that. DC, yes, direct current. But here it is DC amplifier means direct coupled because it is coupled directly from one stage to the other. Okay, let us see the construction. This is the input to the first stage, voltage divided bias, R1, R2. This is the uh, no, trans first transistor. Output is taken at the collector. Output of the first stage is connected to the input of the second stage. Um, input of the second stage. And then output is again taken at the collector and we get the output voltage. Okay. If you have noticed, there is a very peculiar thing over here. Not even a single capacitor is used in this particular amp, in this particular design. Yeah, no amplifiers are used in, uh, sorry, no, no capacitors are used in this particular design. So what is the advantage here? Can you guess if there are no capacitors attached, if you can see that it's, there's not even a single capacitor attached, what is, um, what, what, what uh, change can you see? One important thing that you can see over here is the frequency response. Ab, pehle kya tha? Capacitor tha. To agar F is equal to zero hota. Okay, F, ag, agar F baut kam hota ya, jase one, two hota, to reactance is very, very high. Right? And because of reactance is, because reactance is very, very high, gain is low. Output kam ho jata hai. Right? Is a frequency response in the, if, if I plot it, frequency response was very less. Now, there is no capacitor at all. So, is there any reactance? There is no reactance. Humko rokne wala koi nahi hai. Current ko rokne wala koi nahi hai. Reactance tha, matlab current ko rok raha tha. Jitna ka, cho, cho, jitne kam hai frequency, utna reactance zyada. Jitna kam hai frequency, utna rokne wale log zyada. Abhi to frequency, abhi to um, capacitor hai nahi. Frequency chai zero low, one low, ten low, hundred low, kuch bhi nahi hone wala. Okay. So there is there, this reactance stuff, the reactance ka, um, portion hai, wo chala jata. Okay. So that means low frequency signals can also be amplified by direct couple amplifier. Okay. So low frequency may be now, how will my frequency response look like? My frequency, low frequency, huh? this is F. And this is gain. Okay. So low, ye zero se start hoga. F zero hoga, to bhi mera gain same hi hoga. But at high frequency, is this going to come back, come down? Because, you know, beta gets affected at high frequencies of the transistor. That is why it will come down. But otherwise, at low frequencies also, you are going to get this gain. Okay. This is one of the advantages of direct coupled amplifiers. Okay, so it is coupled directly, number one, without using any reactive components like capacitors, inductors, transformers, nothing. That means the frequency response is independent of, um, you know, sort of frequency. Frequency kuch lena lena hi nahi hai, kyunki capacitor ya, aise jo, um, kya bolte usko, reactive components jo hai, jo frequency se uh, badal sakte hai, aise koi component hai nahi hai circuit mein, sirf resistance is that is why. Okay, another thing, it is not direct current amplifier, it is DC matlab, direct coupled amplifier. It can be used for both DC and AC signals. Advantage kya hai iska? Low frequency maybe you get good gains. Okay, so uh, advantages, it is in, in, inexpensive, it can be used to amplify DC signals. Okay, and it provides uniform uniform frequency response.
ठीक है फाइन सो द लोअर कट ऑफ कैन बी जीरो जीरो से स्टार्ट होता है लोअर कट ऑफ तो जीरो है एंड ऑब्वियसली अपर कट ऑफ कुछ होगा यू कैन नेम इट क्या डालेंगे हम एफ टू डाल दो यू कैन नेम इट एनी थिंग ठीक है फाइन कहाँ यूज होगा ये टीवी रिसीवर्स कंप्यूटर्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स में दिस इज यूज फाइन बिकॉज वी डोंट वॉन्ट अ फ्रीक्वेंसी कंस्ट्रेंट राइट दैट इज वाइन फाइन एंड ड्रॉबैक्स क्या हो सकता है सेम थिंग बीटा कैन चेंज विथ टेम्परेचर इसी सर्टन ड्रॉबैक्स नो इट्स कॉमन ओके सो दिस इज वन ऑफ इट बीटा चेंज कैन चेंज विथ टेम्परेचर सो इट कैन चेंज द कलेक्टर एंड वोल्टेज कलेक्टर करेंट एंड वोल्टेज ठीक है तो दैट कैन अफेक्ट एट हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी इफ यू कैन सी द वोल्टेज द फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी में द गेन इज गेटिंग इफेक्टेड एनी नॉइज कैन कम अप दैट कैन ऑल्सो अफेक्ट द आउटपुट ऑफ द डी सी एम्पलीफायर okay so next we have finished the coupling uh, amplifiers next we are doing the classification of amplifiers and in your syllabus only feedback amplifiers are there so with feedback amplifiers and differential amplifiers we will be closing this chapter so that's it for today have a great day happy learning